press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. I am very argumentative. My family is fed up of me. <laughs> My friends also. But uh, yes, that's me. I was a very strongly opinionated person, unable to see other person's points of view. I have really changed over the years. Invincible. I like that. I'm proud of the woman I am. I'm uh, an actor, of course, and very happy to be one. It took me a long time to figure out that that is really what I wanted to be. I just did not want to be an actor because everyone in school said, ah, your mother's an actor, so you will also become an actor. In those days, it wasn't even called an actor, it was called actress. So you will also become actress. So that, of course, was a no-no for me. Okay, that's something I will not do. I just won't follow the herd. But as it went along, and when I actually started to act, I realized I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to be part of it. I'm a person who runs a family, runs a theatre company, so there's a bit of a CEO in me of sorts. There was no question that I was a girl, so I will not do work, I will go and sit and sit and sit, nothing of the sort. I knew I had to earn a living. Theatre was part of my life from the minute I was born, I think. My mother used to act in plays. My aunt wrote and directed plays. Another aunt also acted in plays. So theatre was all around me. I wanted a theatre that would reflect the new India around me, that I was seeing, that I was being part of uh, while I was growing up. And I found that with Satyadev Dubey, uh, who also acted, uh, worked with my mother. She acted in a few of his plays. And I saw a lot of Dubey's plays at that time. And I remember feeling that if I want to be part of theatre, this is the kind of theatre I would like to be part of. A theatre which is exploring ideas, which is trying to find a vocabulary which is right for us here in India, not something we've borrowed from elsewhere. Now, a lot of people at that time, including people from my family said, why do you want to go and learn acting? I mean, you've got a family full of actors, so won't you figure out as you go along? And in any case, you want to come back and you'll have to join the films in order to become an actor. Otherwise, how will you earn a living? So you may as well join the films, get yourself a spot boy, take a icebox and a makeup man to work. And then you will be given the kind of importance and space that you sh deserve. And I thought, how, how would an icebox help me, you know? I mean, if I don't know how to act, how is an icebox and a makeup man going to work? So I decided that that's not the route I want to take. I have to find another route. And fortunately, at around the same time, I met people who had just come out of the NSD. Uh, Nasir, of course, but Om Puri and Jaspal, uh, Rajinder Jasmal, there was another actor. There were actresses who had come out also from there. People like Rohini Hatangiri, Suha Soshi. And I was seeing their work. And I thought that these people seem to be so much more confident about what they are doing than I am. So maybe that's the place to go to learn how to act. I didn't give up and I'm glad I persisted with my search for how to create a performance rather than how to become a successful actor. I don't know if I'm a successful actress, but I know that I'm a hardworking actress and I'm an actress who has grown significantly from when she began in 1974 to today. I have grown, thank God. Comedy really saved me. I was set out to be a dramatic actress and cry buckets in every uh, role I got, which is what I thought actresses are supposed to do. In India, that's what poor actresses only did. Gave long bhashans and cried buckets. I, I, and that's not the kind of acting I wanted to do endlessly. I mean, once in a while, yes, but not all the time. And fortunately, comedy showed me another way. It pushed me to uh, try out new things and develop skills, which I didn't have. Unfortunately, Hindi cinema thinks in stereotypes. They find it difficult to think outside stereotypes. In India, we find it difficult to think outside stereotypes, bhai. By and large, look at us now. We can't think about anything except stereotypes. So this is a problem that all actors suffer from. 
we suffer from it in a particular way. I've also always, when I was doing comedy, everyone only offered me comedy. If I was doing a serious thing that was after lipstick under my burqa, people thought that's the kind of stuff I want to do. You know, so I'm, I'm not responsible for other people's lack of imagination. Speaking your mind and speaking it with intelligence and without wanting to cause unnecessary hurt is important. It's important within a family. At the moment, everyone's feelings are getting hurt, right, left and centre. So, can I sit on the head of my head? I can't do that. If something is wrong, at least to point it out, to mark it. That is my job as a person who's older and has seen the world a little bit. And has seen these times before. This is not the first time things are happening in this country or in the world. So it has been a struggle to create an audience and to create a, a space for theatre in Bombay with absolutely no help from the government. The government of India across states just does not take their responsibility towards art and culture seriously. And it's a shame. Regardless of whatever party may be in power, somehow they feel art and culture is dangerous. Don't do a lot of people. Because they will start to think. In my family, if you just accepted something without having an argument, it was an insult. I mean, you'd be bawled out. Hey, are you? You killed someone from the head. No opinion is not yours. I'm anywhere near invincible. And I don't want to be. Invincible sounds very lonely. You know, okay, man, akeli, top of the pile. Too scary. I want to be totally invincible. I want to be affected by everything happening around me. I want to participate in everything that's happening around me. As long as I have the health and the brain to do so. I'm proud of the woman I am. And I'm proud of all the women around me who I have known and who have helped me to see what uh, being a woman in this day and age means.